All right, guys, we are out prospecting. You can take a look at this outcrop right here. It just looks like ordinary schistose rock. If you get a little bit closer, you can see all the metal there. All the metal there. Some samples. We've taken off, and if you take a look here, it's just basically an all metal showing. Some of it looks like it's just uh, smeared a little bit, the pyrite. We've had a XRF done on some of this material, basically worthless, but it is a good indication of something else which you'll have to wait and see. So we have a 50 meter wide zone of mineralization. This actually continues on the downslope side. You can see just all the pyrite all in there. So just down slope of that, you can see how it's fairly steep. We did find a bunch of float rocks here and we did find more outcrop down there which has the same exact mineralization and the XRF confirmed that. So down about 75 meters, there's an actual road that goes this way. Again, you have more of the all metal smeared looking pyrite in a zone about 20 meters wide that's exposed in two different areas. What you have right here is a trench that ends about right here that was dug in the late 1960s. At the end of the trench they actually found zinc. So if you look at the far end of the trench it's 50 meters that way. It is almost directly in line with the pyrite smeared all metal pyrite showing they found seven percent zinc we actually checked this trench out i mean 50 years there's a lot of overgrowth to it and a lot of overburdens left in there but we did find a couple samples which were pyrite with chert and if you don't know anything about chert chert is a very silicious rock and often associated with VMS deposits or volcanic massive sulfide deposits. So at the end of this trench right here is where we found the goodies. We've searched up here. There's a uh, added way, way down the road, a few hundred meters. There's a shaft up there, reported shaft up here. We never found that one. A couple drill holes way up at the top. But this is a thing that everyone has missed for years and years and years. And with the help of our prospecting partner, we found a nice new deposit. So if you take a look here, you can see the metal all over the side of this schistose rock initially we thought this might be part of a VMS deposit but now because of the lack of lead in the XRFs it could be a cross between epithermal and VMS You can see just the solid metal here. 
So it doesn't look like anything crazy, but under the XRF, initial samples of the, the metal, which is sort of a black grayish color here with a combination of a pyrite looking mineral. And the XRF lit up initially. We've had XRFs that have gone about 10 ounces per ton of gold and up to 27% zinc. So samples were crushed down to test the different mesh sizes at 40 mesh, 60 mesh, and 80 mesh, we have consistent readings of 170 parts per million gold, which is about 5.6 ounces per ton and about 8 to 9% zinc, 0.7% copper. So what we want to do today is basically expose a little bit more of this. We'll show you some samples. We're gonna go take a look at some of the other metal showings and uh, then maybe we'll have time for the mine. So take a look at the mineralization. Just hammered a little bit off. You can see the darker stuff. Obviously you got higher zinc there. Here's a piece we just hammered off. Look at it shine. One of the things I find interesting is the deterioration of your schists and it's almost like there's some sort of clay with this. So if you take a look, this is all your schistose rock. I can basically just break it apart with my finger. See there, a little bit of uh, copper staining, which shows you you have copper sulfides mixed in with this. So a little bit more to the back here. We're still finding our typical zinc gold ore, but we're also finding chert and. This chert has malachite staining, which means you have copper. So I'm just gonna show a bunch of the samples before we head down to the next place. So you can see all that. Definitely high grade zinc here and good gold. See how easy it breaks. Lots of deterioration because this is close to surface. Just beautiful looking ore.
So lots and lots of samples here. Okay, we are about 30 feet, maybe 10 meters down. And you can see here, you have more of the metal showing. We've hiked down about 75 meters. We're down on the lower road. And the whole way up until you hit the showing, which is up there, the smeared, piratey, all metal showing, all the way back here is an area where you can find samples that are mineralized like this. You have sort of your same zinc gold ore there. You do have some chalcopyrite in some of these samples. But there's just hordes and hordes of samples all along this road. So obviously they cut into something when it was built. Just past that all metal showing, which is down this way, absolutely no samples. So... That's interesting right there. Let's go take a look at the showing. Another one of the road grab samples we were talking about. You can see all that metal in there. Very similar under the XRF. Same values for gold, zinc. And there's dozens and dozens of these along the road. Another sample here I just hammered. In the middle of the road. Take a look at this. Some nice mineralization in there. Right here, you have more of your smeared looking pyritic mineral. You can see it's uh, formed in the foliations of your schists. Same sort of schistose rock that was up above. And this pyrite here, just loaded through the rock, is seemingly void of any value. Other than geological value. And over here, you can see there, there, piece of outcrop here. Mineralized for about 10 meters. More samples. We are 30 meters away from that last spot and you can see, again, more of your schistose rock with mineral. Another interesting note is down the ways here, about 800 meters, you have a fault going up, down at the fault, aiming in this direction, exactly in line with these showings, is another huge mineralized area where you have, again, your sheared, smeared pyrite in the foliations of your schists. Don't know what it means, but we're going to find out. So we're going to head down here now and uh, potentially locate and add it but you guys are gonna have to stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one take care